The Steam Spring Sale just started, so this is the perfect time to pick up a new cozy game to play. Today I'm going to be showing you everything I've purchased so far, although there are definitely other games that I have my eye on, so that might not be the case by the time the sale ends next Thursday. And Steam is already revealing one of the games I've bought, but more on that later. So the first game I bought was Dave the Diver. I've been wanting to play this game since it was released last October, because it looks just like my sort of game. It's a diving game, crossed with a restaurant management sim, and it has an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam, with over a thousand reviews. This is its first sale since it launched, and it's currently 20% off. You know how much I love the pixel art style too, so this game is literally ticking all the boxes. I can't wait to dive into this one, explore a little bit more, and find out what the heck is going on with that giant octopus. It does look a little scary at times with the different underwater predators, but on a whole it seems to be very cosy. One thing to know is that it is in early access, so we might be expecting more updates in the future. The next game I purchased was Calico. I've heard so many things about this game from our community, so I just had to try it. In Calico, you're given the very important task of rebuilding a town's cat cafe and filling it with all the cute and cuddly creatures, not just cats. You'll also need to decorate your cafe, and there seems to be loads of different styles to create the perfect cozy home for you and your animals. And don't forget about baking. You are a cafe after all. You'll need to bake yummy goods through a series of mini games that you can also sell. I also saw that there's a community element where you can get to know the villagers by talking to them and selling them their favourite food. It just sounds adorable. They also describe the gameplay as laid back and low stress to make a creative environment to explore and play in, which I love. This is another game I've wanted to try for so long but never had the chance to. It's 70% off right now and less than £4 so I really didn't have an excuse anymore. On Steam it has a 97% overwhelmingly positive rating and it's always recommended as a game that is likely to make you cry. In the last campfire you're following a little ember, trapped in a puzzling place, searching for meaning and a way home. Along the way you'll discover a beautiful wilderness filled with lost folk, strange creatures and mysterious ruins. I played a little bit of this last night and it's so wholesome. The music is great and it's a little bit of a puzzler with things you have to solve to progress. I especially loved helping all the other embers to try and help them to move on. This is definitely going to be one of my top games, I can already tell. I can't wait to keep playing and see what else there is to discover. I actually gifted this one to one of my friends for Christmas last year and she finished it so quickly and immediately came to me and said, Ellie, have you played this game? If not, you need to. One of the things that appealed to me the most about Roki is that it's inspired by Scandinavian folklore. You play as a young girl trying to rescue your younger brother from Roki, a pitch black monster from the pages of a fairy tale. This rescue mission takes you far away from the safety of your own home, and the tale is all about adventure and courage and all that good stuff. It's got puzzles and riddles to solve, I do love a good riddle, and you even get to make friends with the monsters. I'm very intrigued by this one and I can't wait to try it out. We're not done yet. Up next is Florence. I've heard so many good things about this game and at £1.64 I couldn't put off playing it any longer. This is a heartfelt experience about feeling a little bit stuck in life. All Florence does is wake up, go to work and spend way too much time scrolling on social media. I think we can all relate, right? But then she meets Krish. Krish is a handsome cello player who changes everything about how Florence sees the world and herself. Play through their budding romance from their first flirt to their first fight. Last, but definitely not least, is Later Alligator. At 65% off, Later Alligator is less than £5 on Steam right now, and it has a 96% overwhelmingly positive rating. I love a good detective story, and this one sounds incredible. Not only is the entire cast alligators, which is perfect, but it's full of puns and humour. You're a PI who's pulled into the middle of a mafia conspiracy by Pat, a young croc who is convinced that his entire family is trying to kill him. There are so many different mini games and challenges to play, including pinball, and the Steam page also teases a secret surprise, so I'm very intrigued. We also shared this on TikTok the other day and the amount of love for this game was astounding. 
more so than any other game we've shared, so I can't wait to try this one out. That's it, the six games I've picked up so far during Steam Spring Sale. Are there any games that you've got your eye on? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.